Hello Cancer, welcome to another you and them love reading. This is going to focus on you and your person, how you feel about each other, what's going on in the connection and what's gonna be the potential outcome in the near future. This will be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So just keep that in mind. Let's get into this Cancer. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what messages do you have for Cancer? In love. Messages for Cancer. In love. Messages do you have for Cancer? In love. November 2020. We'll start with picking up your energies here. Tell me about Cancer's energies at this time spirit when it comes to this connection what is it cancer thinking or feeling oh i got two appreciation this card keeps coming up in storm warning interesting there's a storm brewing here we'll see what that's about tell me about the person that cancer is dealing with what are their energies at this time? Contract. Interesting. Bottom of the deck, the world. Some sort of final decision, legal situation here for a lot of you with contract. This could be some sort of um, outcome from like an, like an institution, a government building, or something being signed. What is going on in this connection? What are the mutual energies for cancer? indecision some sort of decision here will need to be made and someone's undecided what fell here angel of love this is a decision based on love let's see what else we can get help me clarify these energies please the cancer Let me clarify these energies for cancer. Tell me about appreciation and storm warning. Why is appreciation and storm warning here, spirit? Ace of Swords reverse? What? Who has been deceiving you? <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what that's all about. This is about either a lack of communication, bad communication, or deception. Justice at the bottom of the deck. A storm is brewing. I feel like you're going to get justice, Cancer. Like something is going to be in your favor. be dealing with a Libra. Why is contract? Hang on. Why is contract here? Okay. Page of Wands, some sort of communication. First steps being taken. Yeah, this is someone that's been, um, this is a decision about starting something new. So why indecision? Why is indecision here? Eight of Cups. This is about walking away from something. This decision is about walking away from something. Bottom of the deck, the Emperor, Aries energy. Yikes. Okay, this is a very objective decision. This justice is about logic, reason, objectivity not letting emotions get in the way it's all about truth so let's get into this cancer what messages do you have for cancer spirit hmm. 
Hmm. Some of you are definitely dealing with this, with some sort of divorce situation, either you or, or the person you're dealing with. All right, Cancer, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more because the energies can be flipped. Tell me about Cancer's energy spirit. What are they thinking? Or That's way too many, but the devil just wanted to come out. What is Cancer thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? Nine of Cups. Knight of Cups, wow. Tell me about Cancer's energies. The devil did want to come out. Capricorn energy here. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I feel like, again, something's going to be in your favor with the Nine of Cups. Someone could be apologizing to you, offering you something special here with the Knight of Cups. But this devil, I'm really hoping it's a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. Because this devil could... Um, Indicate that there's something amiss, something off about an offer. There could be a tempt tempting situation here that could lead down the wrong path and decision. This is about going down the possibly not knowing which path to choose. And one of them might not be the best one. Tell me about the person that cancer is dealing with. What are their energies, spirit? about the person that cancer is dealing with what are their energies okay they want me to take these three six of pentacles another scale here see that person's holding a scale 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 we had justice come up for you ace of swords this is a serious conversation Eight of Wands reverse, but very little movement or slow movement, or perhaps there's a blockage here in communication. We'll see when I clarify. What's going on in this connection between Cancer and this other person? What's going on here, Spirit, between Cancer and this other person? King of Cups. Going on here between cancer, this other person spirit. Nine of Swords, fear. Three of Swords, wow. Painful situation, uh, difficult communication, stress, anxiety, fear, fear of heartbreak. What in the world is going on here, Cancer? Now, keep in mind, this won't resonate with everyone. And you'll know pretty soon if this is your reading. Don't try to make it fit, Cancer. If it's not, check out my other uh, readings for Cancer. I have a whole playlist. Uh, but if this is resonating for you, let me know down in the comments how it's resonating for you. I feel like it's going to be more complex than meets the eye. We'll see. I'm going to clarify these energies, please, for Cancer. Show me what I need to see for Cancer Spirit. How much? Let me clarify. All right, let's get into this, Cancer. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, reverse on your side. There's deception here. 
Tell me about but, but why are you sitting pretty? Tell me about the nine of cups. The magician reverse. There's someone that you can't trust. Get one more for this Nine of Cups. Yep, Five of Swords reverse. Eight of Wands reverse. This is very interesting. I feel like if someone's trying to take advantage of a situation that is related to you cancer they're not going to win that's not going to work out you're going to be fine whatever this is whether it's this other person that you're dealing with or someone outside of you whoever's trying to take advantage of a situation or come out on top it will not work star aquarius energy Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? I am so distracted by these energies here, especially this Knight of Cups. It's almost like you're protected. Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is this Knight of Cups here? Three of Cups. Six of Pentacles. That's this person. This person, and then Ten of Cups reverse at the bottom. This person wants to come together with you. Have some sort of reunion, fix things. It's almost like they're going to apologize. They're motivated. There's chemistry, passion, courage. They want to make things right. They want to, it's like they want to restore balance. So what happened over here? Tell me about the devil. Is the devil here for cancer spirit? Wow, tower. That's that storm brewing. And then bottom of the deck, yeah. Ace of Swords reverse. That's this right here. Storm brewing and ace of swords. I don't know if you guys let me show you. These two very similar energies and i don't think it's a coincidence that the ace of swords reversed is on the bottom of the deck with a whole different deck too that i'm using here there's gonna be some sort of shake up tell me about the devil there's the devil here the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. This could be something to do with a commitment, a contract. Something's blowing up here. Can I get one more, please? For the devil. Wheel of Fortune Reverse, the Queen of Cups, Nine of I feel like whatever situation, it's like someone around you, or maybe this was a commitment that wasn't healthy. It's There's a blow up here. There's some sort of surprising revelation or um, shake up that happens. It could even be a separation, divorce for some of you. You're, you know, I feel like this was necessary. Wheel of Fortune Reverse. These are major, like all major arcana. This is very serious energy, like major energy shifts.
but I feel like you're like emotionally okay. You're like, you're balanced with the Queen of Cups. Even with all of this blowing up around you and coming to like a crescendo, like a climax, you know, you're still okay. That's what I'm saying. It's like, no matter what someone's tried to do against you, they haven't been able to break you. Let's see, what is the Six of Pentacles doing here? Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's going to try to make you at least a small offer because they want things to be balanced here. Yikes. Page of Cups reverse. Be very careful what someone tells you. This could also be someone that's heartbroken, disappointed, attached. They're not free of... What is that message? I just got like a weird message. I'm just gonna say that, okay, this message is for someone out there watching. I don't think it's for everyone. I feel like this person has like a stain attached to them in the sense of like what they've done. It's like a mark on them. Like they haven't been able to detach themselves from humiliation or shame or or a lack of success. It's almost like it is, you know, like they're branded almost. Like they haven't been able to shake what they've done. Like they like their guilt is eating at them or something like that. That's for some of you. I feel like this is someone that's going to try to bring back some sort of balance. Give you something here. But with the Eight of Wands reverse down here and the Two of Swords reverse and I have the Moon reverse. So something's coming to the light here about someone's decision. And it's like they're stuck. They're stuck in making a decision. But their intention is to make a move. Let's see. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here? Hold on. Nice, the Ace of Swords. Justice Reverse. Nice, the Ace of Swords here. Three of Swords Reverse. Get one more. The lovers reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Wow. What in the world? I feel like there's some sort of a broken commitment, separation or breakup that either happened between you or this person is going through. Gemini energy here, Libra energy with justice. I feel like this was a, uh, a bad choice that this person made. Something didn't work the way they thought or someone something feels like it's unfair to this person. This could be a karmic partnership. Um, and it could be like a third party interference here. And with this Ace of Swords, it's like maybe they are talking to you about this, like communicating about what's going on or they're cutting something out. Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse. This is a mess. Didn't you guys have a reading recently? I think it was, I think I put something like mess in the title. <laughs> Tell me about the Eight of Wands reverse. King of Cups reverse. Wow, we're getting the same cards, but like reversed or doubled here 
Page of Swords, Reverse, King of Cups, Reverse. Be very careful. This could be someone that's not telling you everything. And I think it's because they're desperate. Maybe you've cut communication with them. Maybe the uh, communication is blocked in some way. And so they're going to try to like get past that. There's like some sort of um broken commitment here or a loss of some sort. This could have been a divorce or a separation between you and this person, Cancer. Um, but I'm also seeing that it could be a third party. I feel like this is someone that, you know, it's like they're dragging their feet almost. I don't know why I'm getting that energy. Because I have the Eight of Wands reversed. So this is like standstill, no movement, and no communication. So I feel like for, for some of you, this person is dragging their feet. And they're still attached to something. Um, but they're still trying to make things right with you, which is kind of weird. I don't know how that's going to work out. Tell me about this King of Cups. Okay, tell me about this King of Cups. Ten of Swords. Yikes. Ten of Swords, Nine of Swords. Some sort of um, ending, difficult ending, betrayal. Tell me about this King of Cups. World reverse. Tell me about this King of Cups. Judgment reverse. Yikes. This person, um, whoever this King of Cups is, it's like they're resisting an ending. They don't want... They're resisting an ending or they're unable to... It's like they, they can't make the right judgment call. There's a delay in a new beginning, a delay in a second chance due to an ending for some of you. For others of you, this person, their own ju bad judgment has caused an ending and they're like resisting this ending, but it's going to happen because of the way they handled it. Someone has had a change of heart because of the way they handled the situation. There's fear. They, this King of Cups is scared. Scared of being heartbroken, scared of there being um, something terrible happening here. But I feel like there's a tower here. There's a ton of swords here. Storm is brewing. Justice reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse came out a few times. So I feel like there is still going to be some sort of loss for one of you here. I have a feeling it's this person, but you know, it can be flipped. And the thing is that it's like, it's almost inevitable the way things went down. Tell me if this is resonating, Cancer, down in the comments, because I feel like this is very specific reading. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? Five of Wands, Reverse, Eight of Swords, Reverse. Someone wants to heal the problem or fix the drama yeah they want to take action because the, the situation has gotten out of their con out of control it's like they're breaking free in order to resolve conflict or reconcile why is the nine of swords here So why the indecision? Ah. Fear. Fear is keeping someone from, it's almost like they're, they're, the fear is keeping them waiting or hesitant. There's hesitation. It's like they're waiting to drop a burden. And it's because of fear, anxiety. Can I get one more for this Nine of Swords? Death reverse. This is again, someone's resisting an ending. They don't want something to end. And they're going to, excuse me, they're going to talk to you because I feel like, yeah, I feel like for some of you, it's like I'm, I'm reading for two different cancers, two different groups of cancer. In one group of cancers, this person has a third party, possibly they're married. 
and they've had to make the difficult decision to walk away and making that decision is is very uh, unfair to them for some reason it'll be a huge loss to them um but they don't want they don't want uh they want to make things right so this so they're willing to go through this loss or perhaps they don't even think it's going to be as bad as it's going to be it's going to be a big loss I feel like they're trying to restore balance and they might might even lie to you to do that. And it could be a white lie. It doesn't have to be. It could be a lie through omission. Like they're not telling you everything. Something like that. Um, that's for the first group of cancers. The second group of cancers, I feel like you're the one walking away and they're resisting that. They don't want things to end. But then again, they're, they're still attached to a commitment or something like that. And I feel like you are going to cause a tower. Perhaps you already did. Maybe you stopped talking to this person. You blocked this person. You stopped dealing with this person because you're too good for this cancer. <laughs> so I feel like there's two different groups. You know, tell me which group you're in. But I feel like it's two different groups. Regardless, this is a mess. Let's see how this is going to play out. What are the, what's the potential outcome here? Let's see. So I'm going to pick a few cards here for the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome for cancer? And this other person in the near future. What's the potential outcome here? What's the potential outcome for cancer? Four of Wands and the Star. Wow, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, renewal. Stability, domestic bliss with the Four of Wands, a happy home, celebrating. Potential outcome in the near future for Cancer, please, Spirit. Wow. We have the Empress and the Page of Wands reversed. I'm kind of scared to look at the bottom of the deck, but I'm going to because this is, it's like a red flag is what I'm seeing here with this page of wands reverse. Let's see. Ah, oh, king of cups. Okay, that's not so bad. <laughs> Again, I feel like this is someone that's motivated by, this, this is someone motivated by love and the ten of wands reverse. So I feel like, Someone wants to heal this connection. Perhaps there's going to be some sort of healing that takes place here. A, a stability, again, um, a restabilizing of a situation. Um, there's potential here for growth. But I'm also picking up, like, this Empress could be a, a third-party energy. Someone who prevents your person from... It's like there's false starts here. False promises they can't keep. A beginning that is um, delayed. It could also be that they don't make the right choices. Page of Wands reversed. But I, again, I feel like the intention is not is is motivated by love, but it doesn't mean that they're going to do the right thing. If that makes sense, like they're motivated by love, they're motivated by how they want to fix something, drop a burden, but it doesn't mean that they're going to go about it the right way. What I'm seeing here is I'm seeing some sort of potential. You could, some of you could just be dealing with an uh, Aquarius, but something to do with a home. Moving home or having a happy home, stable home, stability, celebrating. So there could be a, a chance for making things right here. I just hope this page of wands is in the red flag that I think it is. All right, Cancer, I'll leave it there. Hopefully this resonated for you and I'll hopefully be seeing you in another video, Cancer. Take care.